On January 1st, the Wheatland Municipal Building will become part of the city of Hermitage because New Year's Day is when Wheatland officially merges with Hermitage. The plan is to keep the building operational, have a display of Wheatland history, and use the social hall. But what else will the merger bring? There was a meeting this evening to talk about it. The Hermitage Wheatland Merger. It's our top story tonight at 11. 65 people attended a meeting this evening at the Wheatland Municipal Building to learn about the upcoming merger with Hermitage. We pledge to you that the name Wheatland will always be here and we will preserve the history of your municipality. Hermitage City Manager Gary Hinkson led the meeting, but Wheatland Mayor Ron Viglio was also there. Viglio saying Hermitage has already been providing police and street services. So over the years, they have done a great job with us. We've got a very good relationship with them. So this is a win for both communities. For example, taxes for Wheatland residents will decrease, while Hermitage will have access to Wheatland's industrial corridor, where plants like Sharon Tube and Wheatland Tube are operating. We believe that the lower tax rate on property, the fact that the city has resources to work with those businesses, we can help them grow, maybe attract new industry into what will now be Hermitage. Two people wondered about changing school districts, having Wheatland students attend the Hickory schools and not the Farrell schools, where Wheatland students now go. Wheatland students currently go to Farrell Area School District. They will continue to do that. Mark Longjetti, Director of Business and Community Development for Hermitage, told people to consult a lawyer if they want to change school districts. Longjetti also said studies are underway on Wheatland's facilities, roads, and zoning. And so we need to fit the properties that are in Wheatland into a, the Hermitage zoning that's available and create a new map. Under Pennsylvania law, businesses in Wheatland currently operating that end up under different zoning will be grandfathered and allowed to operate as is. A public meeting focusing solely on zoning will be held on Wednesday, September 13th, 6 p.m. at the Wheatland Borough Building. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.